Hello friends, how are we doing? Welcome to today's video. This time we are going to be talking all about my monthly faves. I haven't done this in a hot minute, so we have a lot to get through. If you need to grab a drink or a snack, let's do that, but let's get to some faves. Let's start off with some skincare. You know, me and my struggle with hormonal acne is been a bottle and a half. I have loved my Tower 28 spray. I've talked about this so much. My SOS is really that to me. I spray it anytime I feel like. I feel like it keeps all that acne just a little bit calmer and just not so inflamed. I get cystic acne on my chin after I had my third baby and that's what I'm dealing with right now. So I try to find products that are non-comedogenic and that are going to just combed my skin down a lot of it um i try to get a lot of product with centella asiatica which i have loved this serum from this korean brand i'll link it below i have used that so much every time i feel like my face is just like in flame and my pimples and all i apply that i also have loved this SPF with again Centella Asiatica. I believe this the brand is Skin 101, something like that. I'll leave a picture, I'll leave a link below if you're interested. Beautiful, very soft, and very calming products for my acne. Uh, Recently, Married Beauty has released this moisturizer, and I have loved it so much. Product is Taylor for 35 years and older. I don't know, to me, it's just a beautiful moisturizer. It has such a lightweight texture. It feels beautiful on my skin. It's not too greasy, it's not too, it's just a very good moisturizer. It is clean, it's not gonna congest my overly congested skin. It's not gonna make me extra oily, which I find that I have been for some reason. Um, so yeah, this is such a beautiful moisturizer and I love it as my base for my makeup. It's also a primer moisturizer. So I highly recommend this if you love like if you love this product, their gray skin from Merit, you are going to love this moisturizer. I assure you that. This milk from Elia is also such a beautiful, beautiful milky toner. I love it to moisturize. I have it today under my makeup. And this is just so calming to me. It really gives me hydration but not too much it's just perfect under my makeup every time i apply it it's just like calming and beautiful to my skin so yeah these have been my faves when it comes to makeup um, preppers and you know just skincare in general now let's talk about some foundation let's start off with dior beauty newest stick foundation i have the shade 3n and this is a beautiful stick foundation um it looks stunning on it's very very natural but when i'm breaking out i cannot do her so i've been you know just a little um cautious on products that i apply not because this is overly greasy or anything it's just like because i have acne and i have hyperpigmentation i have i tend to over apply products and so then these tends to look just heavy and it's just heavy on like my pimples and stuff like that but when my face is doing good like right now this is a beautiful beautiful base it looks extremely natural it just looks so soft on the skin i have loved the stick for its convenience as well like it's so easy just to grab and go um that i have appreciate you know having her in my life i feel like it's very comparable to tom force if you're wondering and also Fenty, just a little bit, but this just a little bit more emollient, um, if you ask me. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful stick from me. Since we're talking about Dior and their sticks, they also release bronzing sticks, and that's actually something that is going back to Sephora. It's right now in my car. I'm gonna return them both. I tried the medium, I tried the 10. The video should be going up before this one, uh, where I show you one on each side. I just could 
couldn't settle the color that I liked. One was too warm, the other one was too cold. The, the good medium is what I need and I just, just didn't find it on Dior. Unfortunately, I have others that I love more so why hoard a product that I'm not gonna use? It is a beautiful product, beautiful formula. It was just not the right color for me. Another beautiful base that I loved. I loved all month long is this one from Fendi Beauty. I love this stuff. This is their naturally luminous long wear foundation, I believe. I'm not sure I did a wear test. I haven't done wear tests on foundations in a minute because of my acne. It just drives me bonkers. But this is a good one. It looks beautiful, it looks natural, it looks radiant, and it doesn't look heavy or kicky around, you know, pimples and stuff. So yeah, this is this is a stunning base. For concealers, I have loved my Guerlain Terracotta Concealer. That's the one that I have right now on. I feel like it's just very, very flawless. It gives me enough coverage. It's not extremely full coverage. I do layer a few layers if I want full coverage, and it gives me full coverage if I need to. And also, I could correct if I really need to but most of the times I just wear by itself like today I did a light just a light layer of the product and it works beautiful um, it works very nicely what I love the most about this is just that it doesn't settle on my lines it doesn't settle underneath my eyes it just looks flawless pretty much all day long and it's very very wearable like it wears very nicely throughout the day mm, the texture is thickish but you can see how much it just disperses and it just looks very nice under the eyes. This has been my favorite concealer um, for just everyday wear. Now I want to speak on a powder that you don't know I already own and it's this one from Rare Beauty. Again, there is a video that I filmed using this powder. Um, this is their newest Tinted Press finishing powder. So this is that truly. First off, I love the cute packaging. This is a very pretty powder for natural touch-ups on the go. This is also talk free, which I love. But these to set all over my face, like to do a good setting of my base, does not work. This is to me a beautiful setting powder to take on the go for like touch-ups around, you know, my oily areas after I blot it. But I don't like to set my whole base with this because it's just too natural for me. Um, if you have dry skin, I think you will love this. This makes me absolutely poreless. Like there's no joke, your pores will be completely gone with this powder. You must check this out. It's stunning fragrance. And this released, I don't know, I don't know how long ago, but this is Killian's I Don't Need a Prince by my size to be a princess, but the fresh, the fresh scent. This is such a stunning perfume. I love it. It has beautiful citrus notes. You get the ginger, you get the bergamot, like lemon, just right off the bath, like a lot, a lot. Very, very citrusy and juicy and it's bizarre because you may think but Gigi like we, uh, like summer's over why are you sharing a citrus scent but this dries down to the most a beautiful musky sweet scent not very very sweet it's not sweet let's check on the notes because I want to know what it dries down to. So quinoa's are bergamot, green tea, and marshmallow. Marshmallow, that's it. So this fresh take on princess unfolds with a soft marshmallow core, bright lemon, bright lemon tinge of bergamot, and a hibiscus energy of green tea. So yeah, it is very, very citrus, right? citrusy opening, but after it softens, oh my God, it's delicious. You get that sweet marshmallow, but with the mix of the bergamot. I love this take on the I Don't Need a Princess. Like this is my favorite gourmand scent, not this, but the other version. And so just to have this twig, um, I really like So for this time of year where it's a little hot and then it gets a little cooler, I feel like it's the perfect just transition scent. I was finally, finally able to get Dolce by Rosie. Oh my God, the obsession is real. I have worn this perfume for the past month and a half. 
throughout the day I just crave for it. I have it in my purse, the huge purse that I carry and it's always in my car because it's too heavy. I, I just leave it there. He lives there and he's delicious. Delicious. That scent is just like so sweet and so clean and like I'm just the it girl. Like it truly makes me feel the it girl and I love it. I'm running out of that scent so, so fast and I totally understand the hype now. I've never smelled it before and I was waiting for that perfume for months until it finally came back into Sephora Canada, um, you know, and I'm like, okay, let's get the full size. I'm just gonna blind buy it best decision I've ever made. Now let's talk about some brushes. I shared a video about Isom and the new revamping of their brushes. I have loved these two brushes so so much. They're T47 and the B29. This is the perfect brush for doing it all, truly. I do my foundation with this. I do my liquid bronzer or stick bronzer. Of course like liquids, like I keep it to just liquids. I do my liquid blush or like, you know, like cream blushes. This is such a trooper that I uh, I love it for that because it's so multitasking. And then the V29 is just the perfect shape for my concealer. She packs a punch, like she just packs my concealer so nicely. I love these two brushes, but so, Recently, I opened a refer PR package that I had there. I don't know where that box went and why I never saw it. They released these two brushes and I shared this on my Instagram and one of you said, Gigi, you need to tell us which one is them or refer. They're so similar. So this is what I'm talking about. This is also like an angle brush, right? You can see BO4 is this one, synthetic bristles, and then same BO5 for concealer. These two brushes are stunning. Nan too. But this is not a multitasking brush in my opinion. Like I just love it for my base and I just love it for my base. I'm not gonna like I don't feel like this will like do all the other ones. It could, but it's not my my best shape for that. This is to pack on the coverage. Like let me pack on my foundation in peace. Jeez. <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, this is it. I love this brush. I think I've never, I have never loved a brush from Refer as much as I've loved this. Yeah. And so I messaged them. I'm like, okay, listen, I, I don't see it on the website. Where is this black bristle brush? And they say it's sold out on summer and it's going to come back for the holidays. So stay tuned for that. I uh, will report back whenever they come back. But you could always browse their website and see, you know, what's up and let me know. Because sometimes you let me know before I, you know, realize stuff are back into stock. So do let me know. Um, I also love the concealer. It's so good. I have, I used this to do my makeup today. I, yeah, I use both of them. Look at this. It doesn't look like I used it. I used it an hour ago. Like where is the foundation on my face? Because nothing stays on the brush. Now let's chat blushes. And oh my goodness, liquid blushes. Liquid, liquid blushes. I have loved these too. So let's talk about some hourglass first. This is their liquid blush and their unreal liquid blush. I am not sure what shade this is, but yeah, uh, whim. Sorry about that. You're supposed to shake it up. You get a little squeezy thing at the bottom. You twist it up and then you squeeze it up like that. Wait, I don't want to take out too much because I'm not going to apply it. Okay, that's it. And then she will give you plump, plump chicks like i'm not even exaggerating if you want instant lift and like filler you know instantly you want to apply this right high up in there like right now i have the one from mario which never gets old same story same situation you just feel so lifted and like it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous blush, love. 
in this one. I've been obsessed with red and berry blushes lately. This is the perfect, the perfect red blush. I love it. I purchased one from Chanel, which I'll review soonish. Um, the powder, I got a shade like this. I'm excited. I'm so excited for that. So going back to the Armani, this is such a beautiful shade, their luminous silk. This is in the shade 41. And don't be intimidated by this color. Like these will give you the most beautiful just barely their color there you know like you don't have to apply it like that of course but it is so delicious on it looks glowy it looks healthy it is not as glowy as hourglass because hourglass is just that very glowy but armani they have it they have their glow too it is their luminous silk for a reason it is truly truly stunning they also have a berry shade which i have in my makeup bag and i I love that one too. So yeah, these blushes I have loved for a minute now. Now let's talk about some glow 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 and these are mass bronzer. This is in the shade Bikini Bitch and I love this shade so so much. She is so pretty. She is so so pretty. Look at that. This bronzer is so soft and so stunning on. You will look like a summer goddess. Like every time I apply it, I'm like, why is this so pretty? Why is this so stunning and glowy? Yeah, I love, I love those blushes. It makes you look very just flawless and beautiful. I also want to talk about this, which I recently tried these are not sticks stacks i purchased three shades and i have loved this quite a bit this is the shade pink love we're gonna do some swatching which this is a little all underwhelming to swatch i'm not gonna lie like you have to you know build up the swatch but build up the swatch mind that because on your cheeks the pigmentation will be there it's gonna show this one is in the shade melon sugar and the formula of these are so nice so powdery so perfected like whenever i'm breaking out and i'm feeling just like not it and i'm just feeling like ugh, my skin is doing so bad today <laughs> and i have so much texture i like this because it makes me feel flawless you know if you have like texture on your cheek area i think this will be very blurring and pretty on now the bronzer i still don't know if this is for me because it's just very light this is sunstone i wish they had a deeper shade truly so but i feel like they only have one and that's it right there these are stunning, they're beautiful, very softening, very, very softening and very blurring. They won't give you much shine, but they could. Back to RMS, I placed an order and I got their eyelids. I got three shades, which I don't know where the other one went, but um, these are so pretty. I really wanted the lilac shade. I love purple lids. So it's so pretty, but then this one, Flare, this is actually my favorite because she's so neutral and she's just so easy to apply. You slap it and go and you look like you are so put together, like, oh my god, look at that girl's makeup, like, she's so good at makeup. <laughs> <laughs> you just apply one little thing on. Yeah, that's flare. I hope that was a good swatch. In it. Swatch Aurora. She's so beautiful. Look at that. Oh my god. So metallic. So absolutely gorgeous. You apply them and they go nowhere. Once they dry down, they're there, which I love. So yeah. These ones from RMS, I love. I wish they come out with more. Now, after everything that happened with John and she and how they just broke everyone's heart, I decided to reach back for my 
my one size powders because I love them. I remember comparing one size to Givenchy and we could not tell them apart. That was like a year ago or so. So I've been loving my one size powders. Again, I love the pink. I could use the pink. I love the translucent. They did release like a yellowish one. I don't like it. I love my translucent and my pink. I could get away with just the pink all over my face and it doesn't look too pink. Even though it looks pretty pink when you see it, it's like, oh, it's like pink blush. No, it isn't. It's beautiful. These are blurring. They're pretty, they make me matte, and they keep me matte. So yeah, have loved them again. Last but not least, we have Dear Natasha and her warm palette. I reviewed this not too long ago, but ever since I got it, I can't put I can't put her down. She is just that girl. She's truly it. She's so stunning. Every single shade here just looks beautiful on. The mattes just blend so dreamy. And the shimmers are just so, so pretty. I love we get some duochromes in here. Very, very rich shades. But they're so easy to wear and just very neutral on my complexion. I hear and I read your comments and you're saying, yeah, like if you have fair complexion, maybe these will look a little bit more peachy on. On me, it looks perfection. It looks like a neutral, just beautiful palette. Not neutral 100%, but like a warmish, neutral-ish palette kind of thing. Anyhow, I really like this. I highly recommend you watch my video if you want to see swatches and the two looks that I created. But yeah, this is latest obsession. I said last but not least without realizing that I haven't talked to you about my lip liner. Freck. Freck Shade 1. I love this stuff. It's so nice. Shade 1 is so perfect for me. It gives me such a beautiful contour. And this is so long wearing and pretty. I really like this shade. And I will do this and then I will just layer anything really. I've loved my Charlotte Pillow Talk Big Lip Plumping Gasm. Plump Gasm. This is in just the Pillow Talk, right? Yeah, because she has a deeper shade, but. I feel I, I reach for the lightest just a little bit more. It just looks pretty, I don't know, it's just easier to wear. The other one I feel like it's a little dark and it's like, oh, I have to be going somewhere to like have that juicy lips. Um, and another lippy that I have loved is this one from YSL. These are just easy. They just glide. This is the shade 3B and any shade really. It's going to look pretty depending on what you're looking for. But like to me, if that's that one, if I just applied that lip liner, this goes so pretty with it. You know, this is just so juicy. Let's put it on. It makes my lips so hydrated. It's truly, truly high shine. And yeah, it's so pretty. All right, friends, that's it for my favorites. I would love to hear what products have you loved these past few months, which of the products that I talked about have you tried, and which ones I should try. There's so much new makeup, and it's just very hard to keep up. So let me know any review ideas, anything that comes to mind, just drop me an emoji, drop me a comment, anything really helps to support the channel because YouTube will think that I'm extra fun and popular and will push my video out. So I would appreciate that. Thank you friends again for watching. All links for shopping will be down below if you're willing to shop. And that's it friends. Love you so much. Catch you my next one. Bye.